Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, my friends, is the day of the 100% win rate with 3 of Expo Cycle. So I'm currently halfway up Rail Champion League, and I've had no losses in Path of Legends all the way up until this point. Playing with 3 Expo Cycle the whole way through, and right now it is time to go for the attempt. I'll be trying to do it live for you guys. I've never gotten 100% win rate before. There's also been like a challenge. One of my friends, Booperinos, who's a big supporter of the channel, has been mentioning that he's going to, you know, issue this challenge, and hopefully I can get it today. Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. I just got back from the gym, had a nice workout, and it's pretty late at night right now, so it's just going to be more of a chill vibes ladder push. Again, I'm playing with 3 Pronounced Cycle. Let's get right into the matches, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, I'm playing with Evil Archers, Evil Skeletons. Uh, actually, the best version for 3 Pronounced right now, I would say, is Evil Archers, Evil Tesla, but just, you know, for old time's sake, I'm going to be running the evo uh, skellies and of course you get recruits first play have to give them the well played very first match of course you get recruits but depending on what version it is it might not be too bad uh it could be you know royal hogs which would be terrible it could also be lumber loon which wouldn't be as bad i feel so we're, we're just gonna have to wait and see i suppose it could also be like goblin giant i guess which would be pretty annoying i don't know why he's an ice spirit like bro is playing recruit cycle or something um Ram, okay, bridge ban maybe. I'll go in, to be honest. Like, he just spent quite a lot of elixir. And my Tesla's still alive, which should put in quite a lot of work. I'm gonna go knight right now to keep my Tesla alive. Because, uh, I think if I didn't do that, the firecracker would have killed my Tesla. It would have been a pretty suboptimal situation. But now, I'm actually in a really good position, I feel. Expo's not gonna target the firecracker, which is perfect. I can go for the ice spirit to activate off of it. And I'll take one hit. I kind of messed up the timing. No, I didn't. Okay, that was fine. Uh, but that was a pretty perfect situation overall. I have literally zero damage on my towers. And his tower's down to 1,000. So pretty nice expo punish. Again, I just felt he overcommitted quite a bit. And it was really important for me to go for my knight there, guys, you saw. Because, again, I wanted to protect my super low HP Tesla and maximize its value. So this is just like some kind of weird bridge bam deck, I suppose. Uh, we'll see what we can do here but i think the game should be over as long as i can defend well he has evo firecracker as well which is actually really annoying for expo but i'm not too concerned i think especially with the king tower activation i shouldn't have any real problems defending against this stuff I'm gonna go for my ice spirit evo archers to kill that ram um hopefully they get it down in time nice and i'll just log everything and uh this is still really good for me honestly evo archers don't think they'll get anything from this counter push. I'm actually going to do something a bit risky. I'm going to go Evo Skellies. We have a double Evo push right now. Okay, he does have a log. So that's why I said it was risky. I did not know what he had in his deck. I'm not like counting cycle. Maybe I should be counting cycle because this is actually pretty serious. I do want to get my 100% win rate again. But I was not sure exactly what he had. So that's why I was like, mm, I'll just chill. But yeah, maybe I should take this more seriously because I really don't want to mess up the chance at 100% win rate. I'm going to go for my knight to block against the firecracker. I don't want that to... Uh, attack my expo too much and i ideally like my expo to kill it which does work out i've never seen that interaction guys wow have you guys seen that before the ice spirit jumps on the scaly barrel and it pops all or it gets popped and all the spawn skeletons get frozen i've literally never seen that in my life very interesting i'm just gonna go for a defensive expo now he's playing like recruits oh terrible misplay by the way this is a fun trick guys late game against recruits you can go for this log fireball it'll kill the recruits and uh take the shield off as well if you get the timing right like I did. Very nice play. He's probably going to go in in the left in a second here. Uh, he does not. Expo is putting in a lot of work though. I'll Tesla. I use it for the skeleton barrel skeletons. And yeah, we are like big chilling. Like there's no concern whatsoever here. Just going to log all of that. Kite this to the middle. And you can see that I can kind of afford to sack some damage too. Just because I have a King Tower activation. Like I was able to sack pretty much that entire recruit in the right lane. Um, and right now it's like really chill as well i just need two more fireballs to take this game so it's looking very nice i do believe he is back to his evo recruits though so uh, that is a little problematic good ice spirit timing and i'm gonna go evo skellies too okay actually pretty good firecracker by him gonna knight then i'll just get a fireball on the firecracker as it pushes itself backwards and now we're just looking at one more fireball to take the game so first game of the match uh, first game of the video guys first match is against ridiculous evo recruit spam but we were able to just play better and uh, get a nice win. Also, he does have an underleveled Cannoneer. Cannoneer is already worse against Expo because uh, they have less HP and it doesn't really help against Expo, which doesn't cross the bridge too much. Uh, he had level 14, which helps me even more, so that is clutch. Also, just a disclaimer, uh, this is pretty late in the season. I normally do push early, but I still think this counts as like a good win rate attempt, a like 100% win rate attempt, because I did push like pretty early in the season. I didn't wait until now to start my entire push. I think if I did that, it wouldn't count as well, and it would be a much more difficult uh, time. 
or much more much easier time i guess because everyone is worse uh but i i did actually push like pretty early on like i got to royal champ grand champ and all of that like within two weeks or so of the season i've only done the final push now but that's mostly because i've also been really busy with school like exams and just studying we're about to approach final season that's probably going to screw me over for a while honestly so not looking forward to that to be honest um might be even busier than i am right now but that's like the main reason i haven't played much ladder or uh anything else in general on both of my accounts and uploads have been a bit slower as well but nonetheless i should have predicted that tesla with my skellies i actually there's no reason for me not to have predicted that so that's kind of my bad guys i think i'm about to get out cycled actually i think he's gonna go hog so let me like preemptively spam all of this and you will see that it's gonna come in very handy as i'm pretty sure he's gonna go hog the bridge in a second here uh, if not, then it's okay, actually. I'll take one Valkit. It's not too bad. Um, I'm not going to fireball the Firecracker, by the way. I want to activate King if I can. I am very sure he's going to hog in front, so let me show you guys this trick. Tesla to target the hog. And also, the Firecracker will activate off of that. Very important placement for you guys to know. Let me also log so I don't get any hits on the tower from that. Very useful trick. Again, I've taught quite a few people that in my coaching sessions where... If they go hog and the firecracker's coming behind like that, you can just go for that activation. It's very nice. Gonna go in right now. Knight to break the Tesla. Probably gonna go for it. And I'm gonna go Evil Archers too, just because I feel like it's definitely worth it. Uh, skeletons, hopefully I can get them down in time. I cannot. And he has an EQ as well, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, I'll Ice Spirit to protect this one archer. Maybe we can force out a log or something even better. Otherwise, it's gonna be a lot of chip. Okay, force out the skellies, which... You know, he defended pretty well. So this is a bit annoying, guys. Hog EQ, obviously not the greatest of matchups for us, but I'll show you guys how to play this matchup. So you basically want to play opposite lane the whole time. That's why I'm going to go consistently in the right lane now. I will take the fireball and the firecracker, though. I'm not going to, like, just let that go. Um, and he's about to go hog, so I'll just high Tesla and then knight. This is a, another pretty crucial part of this matchup. It's the anti-earthquake Tesla. You'll see, even though the tower is on the Valkyrie, I got my placement just right to target the... Uh, hog with both the knight and the tesla so even though i had the wrong targeting it still worked out very nicely I'm gonna fireball the firecracker again he's actually giving me a lot of fireball value on his tower without really meaning to i think pre eq was very aggressive right there i'm actually gonna go in really bad log as well i'm gonna, definitely gonna go in right now and i think i can get a nice lock i've out cycled the earthquake so he is in quite a lot of trouble he's probably gonna get back to one i mean he's a fast cycle i wouldn't be surprised but we are definitely gonna make him work for this defense like we're still gonna get more damage than him as well we do get a mini lock which amounts to about the same as the earthquake and i know what i said about going opposite lane but uh he's just been giving me fireballs honestly i'm gonna go in, in the other lane now though knight to predict something let me scale his log as well we do force up the earthquake opposite lane still get a nice expo lock as well look at this nice connection forcing up the log and we get a lot of damage so that's really good for me and we are winning in both lanes now so this is just a really dominant match also he has under leveled towers which does hurt him quite a lot but it doesn't really matter like even if he had level 15 towers based on the way we've been playing this match i'm pretty sure i'd still be in the lead in both lanes and it's just going very well i'm actually gonna knight to uh, keep the firecracker in tower range and just take another fireball on it because he's giving me these fireballs for free essentially um now he very well could predict something and like okay i thought the valk would go on the left that was weird he very well could like go tesla to like attack my high tesla i really don't know why he's doing all these firecrackers by the way like really bad play like really really bad i'm gonna take a nice fireball on all of this right now great fireball and he can go for the eq if he wants it doesn't really matter just gonna ice sprit to make sure to take no hits expo on the right to counter push and now he's in a bit of trouble because he has no eq and cycle so valk does come down but the damage is still done and he's definitely gonna have to earthquake here so i can pretty much just ignore this and then fireball the left side he also lets one evil archer hit go as you can see so now i'm just gonna take a fireball and like we're just cementing our damage lead okay maybe that was a bad fireball because i did not realize he had evil firecracker back in cycle that is my bad nonetheless we should still be okay let me tesla um the firecracker is a problem let me see how i can control i'm just gonna fireball honestly I think that was a terror. Oh, that was a really... No, it hit. Okay, thank God. I was about to say, I think I missed, and that would have been the worst Tesla, or worst Fireball I've ever played, but we're actually chilling. Speaking of worst spells ever played, though, that was maybe one of the worst Earthquakes ever played, completely missing the Tesla. Like, what? And I'm just going to punish that really effectively with this uh, pressure now. Take a free Fireball on the tower and the Firecracker. And the guy kind of just got destroyed at the end. He's going to be forced to respond even more to this Expo, forcing out the Hog. And, like, that was a pretty dominant match. Like, Hoggy Q, guys, it's a pretty annoying matchup, I guess, but it is pretty close to 50-50 if they have a variant like this where, you know, they're playing um, the Hog Rider 
the Valk, especially the Valk, I guess. I don't know why I said Hog Rider. Again, it's pretty late for me, but the Valk is the most important part. Where they have like a Valk or a Mighty Miner, that helps us a lot. If they have a Knight, that's the worst case scenario. You do not want to go against Hoggy Q when they have a Knight. But if they have like a Valk or a Mighty Miner, it's much more doable. Especially if they have no Champion. Like no Mighty Miner, no Little Prince or Queen. So they don't have a three card cycle, that's much more manageable too. It's really just all about spell cycle and good control on your side. So we're against Bats. Right now, I'm not sure what exactly this is going to be, but we'll find out, I guess. He has level 14 Princess Tower. Oh god, this could be Giant Graveyard, dude. I swear to god, if I get Giant Graveyard, that actually could. Thank god, okay, it's going to be some weird recruit deck, but I'm just really happy to not see Giant Graveyard, to be honest with you. Um, good defense of my Expo, actually, but I think I will have to Knight Other Lane right now, because that is just too much to uh, ignore. I'll Skellies to protect the Expo, like lightly though and i think we might get a lock no we forced out the goblin giant i'm just gonna tesla I'm just gonna let the expo go on tesla i could go archers but he very well could have arrows in this deck and i don't really want to deal with that bats are annoying as well I'm gonna have to go for my late archers right now i don't have enough elixir to get them down in time he's gonna get a fair amount of damage for that unfortunately but we're still okay i think he's back to evil recruits now or in like one or two cards which is very problematic so of course we get some annoying Evil Rail Recruits Goblin Giant matchup, but uh, Ladder is just like that. You just have to deal with it. Now, I I will log this. I'm a bit wary of it because, of course, he has Recruits. Probably going to go for them any second now, honestly. But I think it's okay. Like, I should be fine. I Sparky, okay. I don't know what to think about that. I think he's going to go Recruits in front of this, and I'm in a lot of trouble. But also Defensive Expo. It's my only play. And I do have my double Evos ready. So if he does go for an Evo Recruits in front, at least I'll be able to... Uh, punish, but instead he just lets it go, which is okay. I think I can ignore the Sparky. This is risky, guys, but I'm gonna trust my gut, and yeah, I can ignore that. It's level 14 as well, so it's a bit worse, and we are fine. I'm gonna split my Evo Archers. I think I will have to Evo Skellies as well, actually. Um, yeah, we'll get our Evo Skellies all up in here on this Goblin Giant, and as you can see, they are actually still pretty solid. They did get nerfed, but they still put in quite a lot of work, so I'm going to go in as well. That was a pretty good defense and a nice counter push coming down with this one Evo Archer and the Tesla alive. Going to need to predict a Sparky. Archers will cancel each other out, which is totally fine. Going to let this go now. I know my knight is probably going to die. Um, and I definitely could protect this Expo and take the tower, but I need all the defense I can get. Yup, exactly for this massive counter push. I think he might even have Evo Bats like about to come down as well. So I'm going to have to get all the Elixir. I can have to defend this. Gonna go for my Archer's Decus down the Sparky. That was a really clean defense, as you guys can see. Like, really nice stuff overall. And we are big chilling. Gonna take the Fireball, because that's just two more Fireballs to win the game. Like, I think Fireball, Log, and another Fireball, yes, is gonna be enough. So, I just have to get a Log. I think Log will kill that Sparky as well. Shout out to the level 14 Sparky, man. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take the Fireball, and that's gonna be a nice win against a very annoying Goblin Giant Recruits matchup, where he even had a Sparky for no reason. I don't know why. Also, the arrows. Uh, very annoying. Honestly, through Pinot Expo Cycle is not good in this meta. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's just really not good because everyone is playing with... Uh, oh my god, I almost went on Trophy Road. I would have died. I'm just trying to get a nice live video right now. Um, but everyone is playing arrows, which is why I like through Pinot is pretty bad because archers, obviously. I'll start with an Ice Spirit to start things out. I do not have Expo anywhere near in Cycle, so I'll go for my Skellies. Why am I getting all of this, bro? Okay, you get recruits again. I mean, you're gonna have to deal with this, I guess. Like, this is what this is what happens at Royal Champion when you're trying to get 100% win rate. They don't want to see you succeed. They want to give you all the bad matchups in the world to prevent you and hold you down. But I'm still gonna do my best. Great knight. That's gonna block the dark Goblin. I'll just take my log to kill everything. Skellies to kite this over. Ha! What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna ice spirit. I am so confused by this guy's deck right now. So recruits Hog Rider, like, bait spam. I'm going to do something a bit risky, guys. I'm going to ignore the gang and go in. I'm quite sure he's low on Elixir, because he spent a lot on that. Hopefully he doesn't have a great... Okay, rat. that's actually a really good counter. Unfortunately for me, I'm going to get completely screwed over by this interaction. And I'll have to knight on the Rascal Girls. That's the best way to counter them. You ignore the guy. You knight to kill the girls, because they're the bigger problem. And I think my knight's basically dead. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, Firecracker, though. He gives me a free activation, I think. If he goes hog, I'll show you guys the trick again. Otherwise, I'll just ar I'll sack archers. I know they're going to die. It's a bit sad. But I think it's worth it for the activation, honestly. Um, definitely going to help a lot. Okay, going to have to waste my Evo Skellies as well. But it's definitely not worth, like, sacking the entire Dark Goblin just to keep my Evo Skellies. So 
I think that's okay. And I think I'm back to Evil Archer's next cycle. So he's about to go Evil Recruits, probably. I will have my Evil Archers to help against that at least. Tesla for the hog. Evil Archers, yep, are next up. We're looking pretty good right now. This is looking like a super annoying matchup, like, in terms of breaking through. But I don't know if he can break through if I defend well at the same time. So that might be a nice silver lining right now. Um, split gang. I think I can just ignore this, actually, because Tesla should help out to some extent. I hope he goes recruits the back. I will actually just expo the bridge if he does that. Rascals, I'm going to go in, guys. Special elixir rule. He just spent five. He can't spend seven in time. Yep, as you can see, he could not spend the seven uh, to get the recruits down. Now, if he goes recruits, I might go for, like, a log fireball. Um, mm, I'm, 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 not, I'm just going to take the log, actually. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I have to defend all of this right now. Um, he has a fireball of his own. I think I'm still going to get a lock, guys. I think that was a nice play by me. Yeah, thankfully we get a lock. So he gets quite a lot of damage, but we get a lock ourselves, which is really not bad. And I'm going to go in again, um, sacking a bit of damage because I can afford to. This is my healthier tower. Take the fireball on that for sure. Oh god, Eva Firecracker. Going to have to log that ASAP. Hopefully get a lock here. No. Oh, he protects very well. I do have to give it to him. He protected that super well. But he's going to get so much damage on my tower, dude. Okay, this is not looking good. Wow. I'm losing in both lanes. And he has a fireball. I swear to God, if I lose my 100% win rate to this, I'll be so depressed. Mother Witch? Okay. Um, I'll Tesla one tile higher. I don't want to risk anything. So you might go Hog. I don't want to risk anything at all. I just want to take the free... They're definitely going to take that Fireball for sure. Log. Oh, a terrible Log. I did not realize that he just played the Dark Goblin into the Tesla. That's my bad. Um, I'll go in in the right now. I have a lot of damage already taken in the left, so... I kind of need to. And I'll go for my Archers right now. He can definitely take a fireball on this. He definitely will, actually, yeah. Good fireball, but we might still get a mini lock. I really need one. We do get a mini lock, which is nice. I don't know what to do right now, guys. I think I'll just, uh, Tesla. I really don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I think I need to spell cycle him. Uh, yeah, let me just, <laughs> you screw it, fireball. I, d I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go same lane or opposite lane. Like, I'm, I'm pretty lost right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, this is gonna be a really hard push to stop as well. This is scary. This is actually scary. Can't believe I'm actually worried in this trophy range. Um, I will ignore the Mother Witch for now. Take a log on that. Tesla to snipe the Mother Witch. Okay, all my... Oh no. I think I messed up really bad. Oh, the hog jumped a lot though. I have to log on defense, otherwise I'll take a hog hit. I cannot take a hog hit. Uh, dude, this is... Wait, I took so much damage in the right. Oh my god, this is so bad. I'm gonna have to like play so well, guys, and just like spell cycle my mind out right now. Um, knight. Oh no, Mother Witch again, are you serious? Okay, at least he's taking the fireball um, in the other lane, that's really good for me. Knight for the- I can't take damage, dude. I'm actually in this, I'm, I'm currently in this, but I know he has a firecracker. Okay, nice, he doesn't have the evil one yet. Take the fireball. Think I hit? No, I missed. Oh, that's terrible for me, that's really bad for me. Hold up, I, I have to focus so hard right now. Um... Knight like that, I think. And then just fireball the firecracker. Tesla. Log the Dark Goblin. No, evil firecracker. I can't lose to evil firecracker, dude. I think I lost. No way. Unless the evil skellies help me. No. I think I lost. Dude, there's actually no way. Oh, no, I'm actually so sad, guys. I lost. Are you kidding me? I lost the 100% win rate to this stupid deck. I can't believe it, guys. I cannot believe it. I'm actually really sad. I think I totally had that in the bag as well. That actually makes me really sad. I can't believe I had 100% win rate all locked up. And I first, of course I got the stupidest recruits deck in the world that like... I don't know what to say, man. I think I should have played with more defensive expos. Anyway, I have to keep going. Like, this is this is really depressing, honestly. I'll probably get like a 98% win rate now. But this really sucks. Like, there goes my 100% win rate. Wow, I'll do it next season, I guess. Like, that's what I say every time, man. Depression. Um, I'm gonna, I'm pretty like tilted now so i'm just gonna expo almost first play like uh fireball the queen as well i really don't care like i just want to get some fast wins at this point uh that's a lock that should be good game I'll ice spirit to catch his ice spirit yep good game i am really sad guys like you can probably tell by my voice like how everything changed but that was not a good matchup i don't think like all the recruit spam is never really great um I think it was definitely winnable for sure. Like, I think it's on me. I should have played better. I'm not saying I lost because of matchup and, like, I hate this game because I just get hard countered, although I am getting hard countered quite a lot. But it is pretty frustrating to lose to a stupid recruit spam deck. Like, I really do think recruit's one of the most mindless archetypes out there. So that is really sad to lose the 100% win rate, too. Anyway, I'll still try and get as close to 100% as I can, of course. Like, 
uh, 98 or whatever I'm going to get. Because if I don't lose another one, then that's what I'm going to get. Also, I'm still a little sick, as you can tell probably by my voice. Hopefully it's not too bad, though. I'm just going to log all of this, take no hits. And if the game is over, I don't know why he's still trying. It's minor poison. Um, you're not going to get 4,000 damage in like one minute against someone who's full defending. So I really would advise him to give up. But I'm not going to go for the three crown yet, because he probably could like fake give up and try and do some stuff. So I'm going to play like kind of slow, I guess. And yeah, he's not giving up, so... Bro, like, you're saying good game and you're still playing. Like, what are you doing? Uh, okay, well, I'll just punish that with a defensive expo and he can't get any value on this because now it's just going to sit on the board for 30 seconds and be annoying for him. Oh, he's playing Mortar. Okay, it's not just Minor, it's just, it's like Minor Mortar. Uh, that is going to lock onto the tower. It's actually fine. I'll just Tesla. Like, I can afford to take some damage, honestly. It's not the end of the world. Okay, Evo Knight is problematic, but I'll just get my Evo Skellies to melt it. And... Tesla should stay alive long enough to help. Yeah, like, I'm fine taking some hits. Not too bad. I'll knight to predict a minor, potentially. Doesn't go for one. I learned this defensive expo placement against mortars. Let me see if I can... Something like that. Anti-poison as well. Okay, really good play, actually. I have to give him props. That was a nice play, because now the mortar's going to get two hits on the tower. Yeah, that was well played. I'll give it to him. Like, the minor to hold the knight in place. It's still not going to be enough, though. Again, like, with this kind of damage lead, like, he's really not going to win. Or with this kind of damage deficit, so I don't know why he's still trying to come back. But I will give him props, he's like pulling out all the stops, so... I think he gave up now. No, he didn't. He's still in this for some reason. Uh, but like, this is so much on the board, like... Okay, well, defensive mortar's all I really need to see, like... He's obviously just trying not to lose a second tower, and not trying to take my tower, so... It's fine. Yeah, guys, that's so sad. Like, I can't believe I lost 100% win rate to a stupid recruits deck. I really do think it's my fault, like, I... Probably played a bit too aggressive at some points, um, and I definitely should have tried defensive expos. I think they would have gotten a lot of value. I think I did go for a one or two, but I think I should have done more. And also, I don't know, it's still really annoying. Like, Mother Witch made it so much worse, because Mother Witch is a super good card against expo, because skeletons kind of get invalidated. Like, that huge overwhelm at the end, because it was because he had a Mother Witch too, so my evil skellies basically got no value. I don't know, I'm just really frustrated about what happened, honestly. I'm just going to fireball that. It's a bit aggressive, but... I'm just going to take the free damage and not go for any kind of expo initiative now. And just, like, take the... Again, take the free damage. Ice Spirit as well. Good play, guys, to protect a low HP archer. Okay, really interesting P.E.K.K.A. Uh, but I'll get a lot of damage from my archer. And as long as I defend this, I should get a very good situation. I'm going to go for a nice trick here. Why am I against P.E.K.K.A. Earthquake, bro? And why does that hit the ex Why does that hit the knight? I swear to God. I might actually take a P.E.K.K.A. hit to the face right now. No, really good micro. Wait, it didn't jump? Okay, yeah, one hit. Wow. That's unfortunate. Why am I against P.E.K.K.A. Earthquake, though? Real talk. Um, but yeah, that P.E.K.K.A. range buff is so ridiculous. On that note, guys, I want to give a brief little detour. Like, why is P.E.K.K.A. getting so many buffs? Like, buff after buff. I actually think it's really undeserved. Like, yeah, P.E.K.K.A. did deserve a buff a long time ago. Now it already got one. It got a, it got a direct P.E.K.K.A. buff. Wait, M. Oh, my God. Okay, well, this is the definition of mid-ladder at its very finest. So, what can I say? Um... Uh, I don't I don't even know, dude. He has a firecracker too. Like this is so annoying. He has a zap as well. I think that was was that Evo? I don't even know actually. I'll just log this, I guess. Like not too sure what to do here, I'll be honest with you guys, because he has like lots of tanks. I'll have to figure out a way to play this matchup, because he has Pekka and MK. I know you guys struggle with this as well at mid ladder all the time. Like Pekka plus MK, how do you deal with that? Hopefully I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll switch my archers. If he goes for like a 5 looks a card at the back, that is my cue to go in. I'll still go in with an E-Wiz, to be honest. Still try. Goes for the P.E.K.K.A., but he's quite low on Elixir. Knight. Okay, not in time. Unfortunately, the P.E.K.K.A. range buff is ridiculous. The skeletons. An earthquake does come down. Okay, anyway, P.E.K.K.A. range buff is ridiculous. Like I said. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I don't know how to break through. I re Maybe I should play more Teslas. I'll switch my Evo archers, though. And I can go in because he's going to MK. I have... He, dude, this dude literally has like 50 billion tanks. He has Knight and Pekka and Mega Knight. Like, what... What is this deck? I hope I can hit the Firecracker. No, I missed. Okay, that was really bad by me, guys. Like, that was really bad. Um, nonetheless, I'll just log this. And I hope the Firecracker goes in front. Thankfully, it does. So I don't have to respond anymore. This is still really scary. Like, I don't know why this, this game just wants to punish me and test me like this. Like, it's really testing my patience right now. I'll just pre-Tesla. I think I need to play more pre-Teslas. Evo Knight is so... This is actually really stupid. I don't know how I'm going to defend this huge push. He's going to go, like, P.E.K.K.A. in front. A bunch of other stupid stuff. Okay, MK, yep. Like, 
All right, dude. Um, I have to let my Tesla die. I have to get back to a second night. Uh, goes for the NATO. I'll skeletons for the P.E.K.K.A. Keep my knight alive. Then I'll go for my low archers. We do have the double knights on deck. It's looking solid. Thing is, I can't really go in, though. I'll go in now, but, like, my archer's already dead. It's not much of a counter push. Okay, let me just protect this expo anyways, though. Get my knight going. Get my skellies. Maybe I'll fireball. Yeah, okay, this is this is a good situation. Wait, I think I got him, guys. I think I got him. Yep. Okay, Iki will not do enough. That's still a nice lock. Okay, as you can see, it's really just about biding your time and going for a very good expo punish at the right time. Like, you can't spam. You have to really find the perfect moment. And that right there was the perfect moment. Also, good expo defense with my um, fireball on the Iwiz and MK. That was a very good play. Probably getting back to EQ sometime soon. I'll get Evo Skellies, though. You should put in a lot of work. And then I think we're going to get another lock here. He's probably going to go for a late MK. You know, late Iwiz instead. Still might get a mini lock right now off this expo. Yes, I will. Very nice. And I'll just defensive expo. Like, I just have to chill. This is taking so long. Honestly, it's a bit annoying. Okay, he gave up. No, he didn't. Well, I'll, just, I'll fireball anyways. Like, I'm getting a bit tired of this. Just three fireballs will do it. So that's number one. Uh, EQ is fine. Like, EQ really is fine, honestly. I'm not very worried about that. I'll try and hit this firecracker with a fireball if I can. I don't think I can. Okay, that was really bad. Okay, never mind, it's still dead, which is all that really matters. Um, just fireball again and we win. I'll say thanks, because the dude's literally playing P.E.K.K.A. MKEQ, and I'm kind of tilted because I lost my 100% win rate, dude. So sad. Um, I really do think I could have played that game better, though. I'm not saying, like, again, I got screwed by matchup. Like, I hate the matchup or anything, but I do still hate that matchup. Like, Recruit Spam is always one that I don't like, especially that Puerto Rico version that has, like, Recruits, Firecracker, I swear to god if I'm against that right now. Like, they have a skelly barrel in there. I swear to god if I'm against that deck. Although it could be just MK... MK bait. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, skelly drags. Okay, skelly barrel, skelly drags. Looks like mid ladder, honestly. I don't... I can't really... Or it's that recruit spam deck with skelly drags, actually. But it doesn't seem like anything too serious yet. Okay. Get my Tesla down for this mortar. And he doesn't protect, so that's very nice for me. Knight will force a response as well. I'm going to expo just to test the waters. I have a Tesla somewhat alive. Basically dead, but I don't know what he has in this deck. Okay, knight. Ooh, it's like... Oh, this is like that... Yeah, this is actually looking really good for me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I'll just Ice Spirit for this musky, hopefully in time. Nice, good Ice Spirit. I think he lost the game now. Well, not really lost, but good luck. So this is the MK Skelly Barrel Mortar deck. This is... Although I don't know why he has Skeleton Dragons. I guess he subbed something out for that. I'm not sure what. But this is a pretty good matchup if I play it correctly. So, I think we're three off Ultimate Champion now, guys. I can't believe it. If I, if I won that other game, I would have been, like, one off right now. Because um, I would have been up one win, and I would have been up another win because I lost one. Wow, that's so sad. Anyway, I'll go in again. I think we have a pretty good situation, especially with these evil archers. And, wow, okay, I was not expecting that Musketeer at all, I'll be honest. That was a good play by him. Like, I really was not ready for that whatsoever. You still get a mini-lock, but nothing that I can write home about. I wanted more, a lot more from that sequence. Good log as well. Man, that's frustrating. But that was a good play by him. I really was not expecting that, because if I predicted that, he would have lost the game. But I really did not think he would do that. So, I guess we still have a thousand damage lead. Can't complain too much. I'm gonna Ice Spirit. Let's see what we can do right now. Okay, Mortar. I'll just Tesla for that. Good Skelly Barrel, but I think I can just log everything. Ooh, gives me, like, an infinite value log. And just for that, I'm gonna go in. Because that was, like... Way too much value to give. Probably gonna musketeer, so I'll just get a knight down for the musky. And then I can evo skellies to, like, melt this knight, hopefully. Unless he logs it, but we should be good. He does log it. But they, they're still alive. They're still going. Nice. Uh, we should get a lock pretty soon. Yeah, finally. I'll go archers to predict skeleton dragons. Okay, fireballs. Still get a huge lead. He just missed the tower, by the way. Like, let me just point that out right now. Okay, this is looking bad, though. Um... I have to fireball. Let me see if he gives me more value with, like... Yeah, exactly. That's what... See, guys? Like, I could have fireballed the tower. Just wanted to wait to see if he gave me even more value with, like, any support troop. And he did. So, that's where patience can really pay off. Um, yep, he does fireball. I kind of predicted that with my log. Like, if he didn't go for that, I wouldn't have had to log. But I had a feeling he would, which is why I went for the log anyways. I'll just take a free fireball on this now, honestly. Like, I'll just take that. He might, like, skelly drags the bridge to punish. The fact that I just wasted a fireball. Yup. I am calling all his plays right now. Um, 
Just Tesla late for all of this. They'll kill the skeleton dragons, tank for the mortar, and also kill the skeleton barrel. So, big chilling right now. And I can actually go in, although he might go in himself. I'll go in. Let's see what we can do here. And I'll go Evo Archers to melt all of that. How is this guy back to his second Evo Knight, dude? It's actually really frustrating. I really don't like Evo Knight. Like, it's so good against Expo. It's very frustrating. But our archer is cooking. Ooh, melted. Okay. Super satisfying. Gonna pre-log the gang. Now he fireballs. Okay, that would have been so satisfying, though. Imagine if I got that pre-log, dude. But fireball is a better play anyways. Oh, and he lets the tower go to the archer, so... Nice win. Again, pretty good matchup for me, and I think the guy did not play very well at all, so... We'll take that. Now we're crossing over 30 wins, guys. I'm so sad, because... Yeah, one w if we if we won that recruit spam game, we would have already been at ultimate champion now. And that would have been 100% win rate. Nonetheless, though, can't let it get me down too much. I have two wins to go, and let me secure the 98% or whatever it's going to be. Uh, the formula for a win rate, by the way, like, you start out at 2,000 medals if you get a 100% win rate. And then for every 1% you lose on your win rate, it goes down by 8 medals. So that is how you can calculate. Like, say I got... 90% win rate, then it would be 1920 medals. Just explaining for you guys because people have asked me about the formula and stuff before. Um, Goblin Giant Sparky is a very annoying matchup and not one that I'm very fond of seeing right now, but I'll do my best. I'll skeletons to protect my archers. And I'll Ice Spirit to push the Sparky into the Tesla as well. Why? 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 Dude, oh my god, I'm, I am getting so tilted. Wow, why was that on the tower? I thought I pushed it with the Ice Spirit. Like, <sighs> okay, I'm um, just going to take a deep breath and try not let that get me down too much. Um, I think he's back to Goblin Giant, so I'm going to be pretty aggressive right now. I'm going to predict it with my knight. Oh, Mini P.E.K.K.A., okay. Evo Skellies, though. They will cook. If he goes this first spell here... Okay, this is really bad, though. I'm going to take... I swear to God, I might just choke, guys. Because I'm going to take his tower, pretty much, but he also might take mine. Like, this is a... I think I choked. Oh, no. Uh, what am I doing? I mean... I could win the tower trade, but it's not going to be easy. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, dude. Like, I don't know. I could go in, but I don't think it's going to be a smart play. Like, I just signed myself up for four minutes of torture. Like, I'm probably going to lose, and whatever happens, like, it's still not going to be good. I think the skellies were a bad play. Like, especially considering I already went for the prediction knight. I think I should have saved the evo skellies for defense. That would have helped me so much better. So, misplay by me. God, dude. Anyway, we have evo... Uh, archers coming up in hand. I am going to take the early spell cycle on this Mega Minion. Skeletons for the knight. And I'm going to have to defensive Vex, but I don't think there's any other play here, to be honest with you. Tesla's not popping up for that knight. That's actually very annoying, because now he has a lot of damage on my King Tower. A lot more than I would care to have right now. Evil Archers, though. I'll go like this. Ice Spirit Skellies. Or Ice Spirit Knight, rather. I really don't like what's happening, dude. I, I'm not a fan of the events that are transpiring at the moment. Uh, I'll have to get a second Knight down for this. Okay, this is looking very bad, but hopefully Evo Skellies can come in clutch, because I think we've outcycled his spells for the most part. Okay, not really, actually, but we should be fine still. I think I'm going to lose this game, guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think I'm going to lose this match. But we do have a huge counter push. Let me go for the Expo as well. Um, Ice Spirit. Oh! The archers are still alive. That's huge. Let me knight to predict a mini P.E.K.K.A. maybe. Nah, he's going to mini P.E.K.K.A. in time now. Wait, I can log it though. And... Wait, we actually get a log. No way. If I actually win this tower trade, I will be one of the greatest of all time. I, s I swear to God, dude. What? Okay. I can't believe that worked out so well for me. I also have a play in my pocket, by the way. I have archers the... I have archers in the pocket, like, as a secret play that he should not be ready for. So nice, really good defense of that. I'm going to go in. Yeah, he's low on Elixir. So, mm, I think my Expo's dead. Wait, unless I get a... No, Expo's dead. Like, Mini P.E.K.K.A. does so well. Still, though, Archer, Ice Spirit, Counter Push. Forcing out the Zap. This dude has triple spells. He has Rage, Arrow, Zap, I just realized. But guys, I'm feeling, I'm feeling much better right now. I actually think I have a chance right now. I am going to Fireball. I am worried about it. It's a little risky. And I don't know for sure if it's going to be good, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, I'll knight there. Evo Skellies as well. Then Ice Spirit. And you can see I'm kind of like spreading him thin right now. Where he... Uh, do I have to respond to the Sparky. Oh no. Okay. Had to waste a Tesla, unfortunately. But I think I'm still okay. Yeah, I'm already back. I cycled really fast. 
Okay, nice. I'm I'm actually defending well, guys. I can't believe it. I'm I'm actually gonna come back from this terrible spot. Like this is such a good, this is such a good game. Like how to win a tower trade against Goblin Giant Sparky. I can't believe I'm playing this well. I also always get the question like, how do you play when you already lost your tower? So this game should help you guys with that as well. I spirit to reset the Sparky's charge up. Get my new pair of archers down, and also gonna log. We won, guys. I actually think we won. There's no way. And the dude had arrows, too. I could actually just expo to force response. Honestly, I will. Oh, good catch on the mini peck as well. We actually get a... Dude, that is sweet justice. Look at that last second lock. I can't believe we won this tower trade. I can't believe it. That is like a perfect situation. He is clapping. I can't tell if that's sarcastic or not, but it better not be, because that was so impressive by me, honestly. Like, I'm actually really tilted, but I, just, I guess I just took that determination and put it into this match because that was like wow and i'm not gonna lose my win right now like that would have been so perfect dude as a match for 100 percent. anyways let me play this one much better let me not play anything too aggressive like i did last time let me not risk any tower trade let me just get a clean win and let's just take our 98 percent or whatever it's going to be drill is not surprising i'm actually kind of surprised it took us this long to see drill considering how broken it is in the meta but let's see what version it is maybe it's like the meta one with Evo Bomber, Evo, yep, there's Evo Bomber. Let me find out what else he has. Let me test the waters with this Expo. He could have, like, a Tesla. He has a cannon. Okay, that's annoying. Although, I guess it's better than a Tesla. I don't like, oh, Knight is terrible, dude. Knight is super good against Expo, so. Bomber is not going to go in front, so I think I do have to log this. Um, and the next drill is going to be a bit annoying. Because he is probably going to get an Evo Bomber with it. So let me just Tesla for the drill. It should full counter. I'll Ice Spirit. I think I have to Ice Spirit as well. No hits and one hit. Wow, okay. At least no Bomber though. He has Evil Bomber and Cyclo right now. Guys, this is a bad matchup, I think, if he has like a Poison. If he has like Poison Lock. Are you kidding me, Bowler? Wow. They really are making me work for this. I'm actually kind of mad now. What the hell? Let me Defensive Expo. I don't think there's a better play right now. Why am I against Evo Knight Bowler? Are you kidding me? I swear to god, if he pulls out, like a lightning, that'll be... Okay, poison. It's still really bad, but it could be worse, so I'm not too upset. Bowler should go to the expo. It doesn't, so let me knight last second. Because even one hit right there would have been too much to take, honestly. Since he just used his poison, I can actually afford to stack archers right now. Like, this is going to be impossible to break through. The guy has... Bowler, Little Prince, Evo Knight, Evo Bomber. Like, 50 billion expo counters goes for the ability preemptively. I'm not sure why. He might Evo Bomber the bridge. He does. Typical. Was that a double bounce? I swear to god that felt like a double bounce, bro. Anyway, let me knight to predict a bowler right now, and I can just Evo Skellies to solo this drill. So I'll do that. Pretty nice bowler NATO play, but I think I might still get a nice lock. Let me log. Need this lock so bad. And we got one. Thank god, dude. That was so frustrating. He's probably gonna cannon now. So I'll protect the sec i need to actually, I, I need tonight like i need to just protect yeah exactly with everything i have because this lock is so important this is such a bad matchup and any opportunity i have to get a lock is important for me to secure it and just hold on to that nice fireball forcing up the nato if he didn't go for that nato i would have gotten a hit on the tower so that's really clutch uh, i'm gonna pre-log this drill and then skelly's late that's a nice trick guys i learned a long time ago you can log the first goblin and respond like with something else let me fireball cycle on the night right now we're actually playing very well like we're totally controlling this game and it's a very bad matchup i think with the bowler as well so i'm i'm pretty happy about how this is going right now waste the evil bomber and the lp night to break the bowler where's the bowler at he has to play it okay he plays bowler like that oh skelly's first and then late log this time and then i'll go for my evo archers and fireball that. I think I might get a lock with this fireball. Beautiful fireball. Nice lock. And that's game winning, I think. Uh, he's still going, but we should be good. I'll Tesla. I don't know how to tell, guys, if the drill is in the corner or in the front. But either way, I guess I misplaced it and it worked out. But that's going to be it, guys. Let's see what my win rate's going to be. In 1976. Okay, that is not 100% win rate. Um, Wait. 8, 8, 8. That's... That's 97. Wow, one loss 
set me back three percent okay so 97 percent win rate guys i'm i'm like 90 percent sure though that i didn't lose a single game coming up here so it's on my battle log but i'm like very certain of that so one loss really set me back three percent because that's a loss of 24 percent again every one percent decrease in your win rate does put you down eight percent or eight medals so that's kind of sad honestly i'm a bit uh, like i'm a bit upset about how this played out but at the same time, it does happen. You know, you get terrible matchups. You get really stupid decks like this recruits one, um, and it's it's just it's just how life is. Sometimes you just get super dumb matchups. Like I got recruits. I got Hoggy Q. I got recruits. Goblin Giant again. I won that. Of course, I had to get the dumbest recruits deck after that. Um, and you got I think even no, we didn't get any recruits after that. But we got like Pekka MKEQ. Like. Anyway, we beat a really annoying drill matchup for the last one, though. So I'm still pretty proud of this push, guys. Like, basically a 99% win rate, I guess, in my book, because I did only lose once. But one loss affected 3%, so that's a bit unfortunate. We only get a common draw, so that's going to be, like, yeah, pretty bad reward. Anyway, so that is about it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the ladder push. I know it's not what I wanted. I didn't get the 100%, and I'm very upset about it. Hopefully, you guys are still, like, happy with the 97%. But honestly, I'm upset because I was really like happy and dedicated and excited to sit down and get the 100 percent. but i'll try my best next season i suppose like it's just what happens i guess so that's about it for the video thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed take care and i will see you in the next one